Hey everyone and welcome back to DaVinci Trades. If you're new to crypto, you're in the right place. If you have some experience in crypto, well, you're still in the right place. Today, we'll be going over how to invest in crypto. Be sure to stick around to the end. We'll also be sharing extra tips just in case you're still unsure about the crypto market. Now, let's dive into the video. Experienced traders have been investing in crypto for years, but what if you are new to the market and need help getting your foot in the door? We can help. Let's go over how to invest in cryptocurrencies and what to look out for. Step 1. Choose a broker or crypto exchange. To buy cryptocurrencies, you must first choose a broker or crypto exchange. While you can purchase cryptocurrencies with both, there are some key differences to be aware of. What is Cryptocurrency Exchange? A cryptocurrency exchange is a platform where buyers and sellers meet to trade cryptocurrencies. Exchanges often have relatively low fees, but usually have more sophisticated interfaces with different types of trades and sophisticated performance charts, which can be intimidating for new crypto investors. Some of the most well-known cryptocurrency exchanges are Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance. While the standard trading interfaces of these companies can be overwhelming for beginners, especially those with no background in stock trading, they also offer easy-to-use buying options. Convenience comes at a price, however, as the practical options for beginners are much more expensive than the cost of buying the same cryptocurrency through the standard trading interface on each platform. Therefore, to save costs, you may want to simply learn to use a standard trading platform before making your first cryptocurrency purchase or right away. Important note, as a newcomer to cryptocurrencies, you should ensure that the exchange or intermediary of you choose allows a flat currency transfers and purchase with US dollars. Some exchange allows you to buy a cryptocurrency for only one other cryptocurrency, which means you will need to find another exchange to buy tokens that your preferred exchange will accept before starting trading cryptocurrency on that platform. What is a cryptocurrency broker? Cryptocurrency brokers offer an easy-to-use interface that interacts with the exchange for you. Some charge higher fees and exchanges. Others claim to be free while making money by selling information about what you and other traders buy and sell to big brokers or funds. Robinhood, Webull, and SoFi are two of the most well-known crypto brokers. While it is undeniably convenient, you should be careful with brokers, as you may have restrictions on moving your cryptocurrency from the platform. For example, in Robinhood and SoFi, you cannot transfer cryptocurrencies from your account. This may not be a big deal, but advanced crypto investors prefer to store their coins in crypto wallets for added security. Some even opt for hardware crypto wallets. We will post a separate video on hardware wallets very soon. Subscribe and hit the notification bell now so you don't miss it. Step 2. Create and verify your account Once you have decided on a broker or cryptocurrency exchange, you can register to open an account. Depending on the platform and the amount you wish to purchase, you may need to verify your identity. This is a critical step in preventing fraud and complying with federal law. You may not be able to buy or sell cryptocurrencies until you complete the verification process. In addition, the platform may ask you to submit a copy of your driver's license or passport, and you may even be asked to upload a selfie to prove that your appearance matches the documents you submitted. Step 3. Deposit cash to invest To buy cryptocurrency, you need to ensure that your account has funds. You can deposit funds into your crypto account by linking your bank account, authorizing bank transfers, or even making debit or credit card payments. However, depending on the exchange or broker and your funding method, you may have to wait a few days before you can use your deposited money to buy cryptocurrencies. Here's one big buyer beware. While some exchanges or brokers allow you to deposit funds by credit card, it is very risky and expensive. Some credit card companies process cryptocurrency purchases a little different. CoinMama, for instance, trades eight cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. CoinMama requires a minimum $60 purchase and charges a transaction fee of 5.9% plus an additional 5% fee for credit card purchases. So, for every $100 of crypto you buy, you're paying $10.90 if you buy with a credit card, leaving you with just $89.10. Step 4. Place your cryptocurrency order once you have funds in your account, you can place your first cryptocurrency order. There are hundreds of cryptocurrencies to choose from, from well-known names like Bitcoin and Ethereum, to more obscure cryptocurrencies like Theta, Fuel, or Holo. When deciding which cryptocurrency to buy, you can enter the ticker symbol. For example, Bitcoin is BTC. Most exchanges and brokers allow you to buy a portion of a cryptocurrency, which will enable you to buy a chunk of an expensive token like Bitcoin or Ethereum that would otherwise cost you thousands. 
Step 5. Select a storage method. Cryptocurrency exchanges are not secured by protections like the FDIC and are at risk of being stolen or hacked. There are talks of some exchanges offering up to 1 million in protected assets. However, this may add more regulation long term. This is why it is so important to have a safe place to store your cryptocurrencies. As noted above, when buying cryptocurrency through a broker, you may have little or no choice about how to store your cryptocurrency. However, when you buy cryptocurrency on an exchange, you have more options. Leave cryptocurrencies on exchanges. When you buy cryptocurrency, it is usually stored in what is known as a crypto wallet linked to an exchange. If you don't like the provider you work with or want to move it to a safer location, you can move it to a separate hot or cold wallet counter. Depending on the exchange and the size of your transfer, you may have to pay a small fee. Hot Wallet These are crypto wallets that are stored online and run on any internet connected device such as a tablet, computer or mobile phone. Hot wallets are useful but there is a higher risk of theft because they are still connected to the internet. Cold Wallet Cold crypto wallets are not connected to the internet making them the safest choice for strong cryptocurrencies. Instead, they are external devices such as USB or hard drives. However, you have to be careful with cold wallets. If you lose the associated lock code or the device is damaged, you may never get your cryptocurrency back. While the same can happen with certain hot wallets, some are managed by a trustee who can help you regain access to your account if you get banned. Are you still unsure about investing in the crypto markets? There are ways to invest in crypto without actually buying the currency itself. Number 1. Wait for ETFs ETFs are trendy investment vehicles that allow you to buy hundreds of individual investment at once. This means that they offer instant diversification and are less risky than investing in standalone investments. There is a great desire for cryptocurrency ETFs that allow you to invest in multiple cryptocurrencies simultaneously. Number 2. Invest in companies connected to cryptocurrency if you prefer to invest in companies with certain products or services subject to government oversight but still want to expose yourself to cryptocurrency market, in that case, you can buy shares of companies that use or own cryptocurrencies and the blockchain that feeds them. You will need an online brokerage account to buy shares in publicly traded companies such as NVIDIA NVDA. This technology company develops and sells the graphics processing modules that are the basis of the systems used to mine cryptocurrencies. PayPal PYPL This payment platform is already a popular choice for people who buy goods online or send money to family and friends. This payment platform was recently expanded to allow customers to buy and sell specific cryptocurrencies using their PayPal and Venmo accounts. Square SQ This small business payment service provider has purchased more than $220 million in Bitcoin since October 2020. In February 2021, it revealed that Bitcoin accounts for about 5% of its cash on its balance sheet. The Square Cash app allows you to buy, sell and store cryptocurrencies. As with any investment, you should consider your investment objectives and current financial situation before investing in cryptocurrencies or any individual company with a significant stake in them. In addition, cryptocurrencies can be very volatile. Just a tweet can send their prices down sharply. This means that you need to invest with care and caution. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe for more content and press the notification bell. This also helps us grow our channel so we can continue to provide value to our audience. Also, let us know about your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.